Welcome to Fresh Manna from El Bethel Ministries. Dearly beloved, I'd like to draw your attention to seven steps of falling into sin. Let's turn our Bibles to the book of James chapter 1, verses 14 and 15, and this is how it reads like. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then... When lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. There are seven steps we see here described when a human being falls into sin. Number one is the temptation. An evil thought, an evil influence, the evil input that the enemy did input into the mind of Adam and Eve. It was the thought, the very first step. The second step we see, they were drawn away. They were drawn away in their imaginations. When the devil tries to tempt a human being, he tries to draw away in our imaginations. The third step which we see, is the desire that is created towards this particular drawing away. The desire, the delight in viewing. The scripture says that in Genesis, when they saw the fruit, it was very pleasant to their eyes to behold. And the next step we see is enticement. When it is enticed, the desire is conceived. That's the fifth step which we see. That is when the weakening of the human will begins. And when the human will is so weak, the next step, the sixth step, is the sin that is committed. The sinful act of disobedience to the laws of God. And the seventh step is death. It is the separation from God Almighty. So what do we do whenever we are tempted? We follow the footsteps and the model what the Lord Jesus Christ himself taught us during this world. Every time he was tempted, he used the written word of God. And it is by the word of God, Jesus was modeling to human being that we will be able to overcome the enemy. Dear brothers, we human beings by our own strength and our own will and our own self-confidence will never be able to overcome the evil one. But it is only by the word of God and we need to see and put all efforts to store the word of God in our hearts. So that at the time of need, the Spirit of the Lord will bring the Word of God to remembrance and we need to confess it with our mouth. And that's when we will be able to overcome the evil one. Let's look to him in prayer and let's ask the Lord to grant us strength to face temptation. Dear God Almighty, we come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray that you would enable us by your spirit so that we will store your word in our hearts. At the point of need and temptation, your spirit will bring your word that's in our heart to remembrance and we will be able to face the evil one. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I'd encourage you to share our videos. Like it on YouTube. Share it with your friends and we are available on all social handles. God bless you.